Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lefix. Ooh, I guess not. Got a call right away. Of course, always busy. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry about that, but anyways, a little busy. And got this MacBook in here. Of course, man, you know, has to be, right? It has to be MacBook. I always love Apple products, work on a lot of them. We show you guys stuff, so I hope that you guys want to uh, send it in, or at least for us to take a look at that, come on by. Um, so we have this A1707 here. It's a nice 15-inch one. You know, I always say that about nice MacBooks, but this one's a really nice one. And speaking of nice too, man, you guys have always been leaving really nice comments down below, leaving likes. That really helps the algorithm to help our videos. So if you always want to do that, man, always more than welcome to. And of course, if you want to watch the rest of the videos, leave likes and comments there. It always really does help a lot too. And uh, yeah, I always like to kind of dip in the comments. Um, usually you catch me the first... Uh, 24, 48 hours, I might be there. So who knows? Maybe we'll see something for your comments. But um, anyways, this is in here for repair. It's a 2017 A1707 model. Nice, big 15-inch one. Uh, yeah, so I at least had the back cover open. Looks like the battery's been replaced. But let's plug in and let's see the symptoms, right? Because if it's completely dead, what are the symptoms for it? What we need to see here, what is it like to use our USB-C tester? We see we're getting our 19 volts there. It usually means that the USB ICs are good, right? Because the voltage is 20, it's not 5, or something like that. That could be cause a short. Eh, not all the time, right? It necessarily means anything, but you know how it is, especially for board repairs. Most of the time you get a symptom, it could still mean like three or four different things. Who knows all the time? We're getting 20 volts in each port, and we're getting about 0.01 amps there. Um, usually when you have something like that, I mean, again, the ICs look be good, but Obviously, there's still a short, and that's still probably the PMICs, which are power management uh, controller ICs. And if we're getting that on each side, but okay. So you see it did go from 5 to 0.01, but it kind of looks like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing right on each side. So all four ports look to be doing the same thing. And you always want to check all four ports anyway, because who knows, right, what's going on? Because what if you see one port's blanking out, and then the other one... Is showing 20 volts, right? Or one looks like it's charged, one's not. Sometimes it could be a problem with the charger port, sometimes it could be a short, who knows? But usually some symptoms like this is usually like a PMIC thing. Um, probably gonna need to, need to open up the board, uh, take a look at thermal cam, and I think that's what we should really do, right? So we should do that. And well, I have it open anyway. It looks like the battery's been replaced before, right? Because that doesn't look like a genuine one. And there. Oh man, got another call. All right, so let me do that. Uh, let's open up the board anyway. And let me answer that real quick. So we have this up. And oh man, look at that. See this one? Yeah, we've seen this actually before. I think on the same model here. There's a burn. You see that? So these are always really good. You just lift them up, take a look at it. Um, and it's good to look at the palm rest, right? Immediately, we can see there's a problem, right? There's a burn. That's definitely a burn. Woo, yeah. See that? yellow it's burn and you can actually see it here too well burn can be a good thing and a bad thing good thing how it could be pretty easy and a bad thing where it could be more welded to the board um this is gonna be a harder angle to show you guys man my camera does not want to focus <laughs> let's take this away there we go okay oh can you guys spot it where's waldo waldo is in the middle uh, man it's really dark let's go under the microscope we'll take a look at it better but that's clearly the damage there. So let's do that. Okay, man, I'm always amazed on how dark it is without like just a little bit of light, right? So lighting is like so expensive. It's so important, All right? Man, look at this. Looks like I'm in a cave. Well, I mean, maybe when I go home, but <laughs> let's go ahead. Uh, let's see what's going on. Man, the light makes such a big difference. So let's go over here. Let's see the damage. And oh man, look at that. All right, it's good to see clear damage. It's always nice. It's very uh, refreshing to see something very clean, clean and clear. Well, we replaced one of these before. Uh, I think I actually I made a video about some. I would, we've seen this before though. Um, sometimes this one does actually fail, and yeah, it will do that. It will burst, right? And they all look pretty similar, right? If you look at all the chips even around it, they all look to be pretty similar them so replacement probably won't be too bad it could be redundant who really knows right but let's go to our um, board view here let's take a look at it okay so we see here so 
Let me scroll out. Let me zoom in. Because, man, it's a little bit confusing. Okay, so it's not the big ones, right? It's the smaller ones. And we're about fourth one over, right? So we go one, two, three, four. And these all pretty much are looks like they're on the same line there. So PB bus HS CPU. And that's the same case for each one. And then each one of the bottom ones has a ground there. So um, we're going to have to do a replacement for that. And we zoom in, we can see it. It looks a little better. Oh, man, I didn't even know that. You can zoom in and you actually see the name of it. Oh, isn't that cool? I actually never knew that. So I'm learning. Maybe we need a microscope for the microscope. Let's see how far, how deep can we go? It's like, look how far. Man, we can really go deep in there. C7. Okay, it's not changing at all, but it's going deeper. Okay. Oh, man, I really got it far. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. All right, so what we need to do is we need to do a replacement on this one, and let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Look at that. Nice and cooked. Charcoal brown. Like people who like their burgers well done. <laughs> A little bit too much well done. So. Okay, let's replace it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and plug it in. So, oh man, the reflection is right there. So we get 20 volts. And see how the voltage is going up. So. Looks pretty good. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing a logic board repair for the A1707 2017 15-inch macbook pro if you did please leave a like for this up a lot subscribe for more content we got lots of board repair videos part replacements data recoveries you name it we have it on the channel we have lots and lots and lots of videos on there so go ahead check that out if you're interested in that otherwise see you guys next video thanks for watching guys take care bye